Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, all right. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Great to have you here. I'm recording this on May 4th. It's about 2.40 in the afternoon. And what I'm going to do is give you all the latest and greatest information that I've got on the uh, government funding EIDL, which is a a grant from $1,000 to $10,000, the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, and uh, unemployment, which uh, we've got questions on all of these uh, things. And um, I'm going to uh, share with you what I know as of today. And this will uh, come out in a week. So you'll get this on the 11th, by which time some of this information may be outdated. But that's the best we can do. Um, I do advise you to uh, check out the YouTube videos for the Rideshare Guy because that's when I do I do the actual video in the morning and it comes out at noon. So uh, you get much more uh, current information. But some of this is kind of evergreen. So let's start with the EIDL. So the EIDL stands for Economic Injury Disaster Loan, and it is technically a grant. So it's money that's just like a gift. Um, It's like an advance towards an SBA loan, which is also available to us, the drivers. So a lot of people got an email over the weekend from the SBA, um, just with a little bit of information about the EIDL. And then a lot of people, and I include myself in this uh, uh, grateful list of people that got $1,000 put into our bank accounts. So uh, the EIDL paid off. I applied on th- three different occasions, but uh, one of those stuck apparently, and I got $1,000. And if you put two employees, you got $2,000, okay? Because I know somebody who put two and uh, that person got $2,000. So um, good for all of us who got that money. There's really nothing you can do about the EIDL at this point because they're not accepting any more applications. Um, You go to their website and it just says lapse in appropriations. So nothing else there. You would have had to apply for this weeks ago um, to get it. So that's really it on the the, uh, EIDL. The PPP, this is the Paycheck Protection Program. And uh, I honestly don't know too many uh, drivers that have received this money. Um, I've been approved, but uh, I got that information almost two weeks ago. Nothing has happened since then, so I seem to be in a holding pattern. One question we've been asked is, uh, can you get the PPP loan and unemployment? So some people seem pretty um, adamant that you can't, um, although I've talked to some, uh, well, I've, I've listened to a podcast, not a podcast, I listened to a webinar of a very seasoned um, financial expert. And he said, if you were to get both, he said the PPP is basically for two and a half months, okay? So if you got the PPP, you could have that be like your unemployment for two and a half months, and then you're still unemployed, and then get on to unemployment. So in my case, if I were to get the PPP, I would then have to notify the unemployment department that my benefits should not start until the middle of April. 
right? So the PPP would cover February and March and half of April, the two and a half months. And then at that point, I'm still unemployed. So the PPP did its part for two and a half months of payroll, payroll, which is just paying myself. And then the unemployment, which is significantly less, uh, would start in the middle of April and continue on uh, from that point forward. Okay. So uh, I can't say which one is right or which is wrong because there's, like I said, it's all, all new. It's very much the wild, wild west. And we're all just trying to figure it out as we go. Okay, let's go to the one most people are interested in, and that is unemployment, because we are all, uh, almost all of us, all of us drivers can get unemployment benefits. And the reason we can is because of the CARES Act, uh, which passed on March 27th, which said independent contractors, gig workers, rideshare drivers would be entitled to state unemployment. And in addition to state unemployment, for the months of April, May, June, and July, we would also be entitled to an extra $600 per week. That's 16 weeks at 600, that's $9,600. So different states are, you know, scurrying around trying to, you know, get set up so that they can uh, process unemployment benefits for gig workers. In California, we had the opportunity to apply about a week ago on the 28th, which I did. And, um, and then what happened after that was nothing that I could see. Then I went in on uh, Friday and I certified uh, for benefits. So what that means is that you go onto the website, and most states I'm sure have to do this. Certifying for benefits basically means you go in and you give them some details about how you are searching for work, okay? Um, because they want to know that you're actually actively looking for work. So this is not a, a handout, just you know, don't do anything for it. You do have to work a little bit for it, and you have to work by certifying it. So I went and I certified for all the weeks that I needed to certify for. Now in California, and I don't know if this is true in other states, but in California, from March 14th until May 10th, you don't need to certify because they say they realize COVID-19 hit and that's the reason most people aren't working. So you don't have to actually be out looking for work because it's kind of pointless because no one has any, any jobs. Now my benefits started in February. So I had to go certify for all of February and, and half of March. So when you certify, you go in and you answer some questions, and then you put down, uh, you know, what company have you approached to work and what was the result? So if you need to certify, um, first of all, I say certify as soon as you can, because in California, once I certified, then I started to see money going into my account, um, money I still don't have access to yet until I get a debit card, but I can see that they're, they've allocated over $4,000 to me. Um, in my account on the website. So certify as, as soon as you can. Now, so who, who do you say you approached for work? Well, I approached uh, writing jobs, right? So I realized I can't really get a job where I go out and interact with the public in any way because I, I live with an 81-year-old. So I can't take the risk of coming home and having the 81-year-old get sick and die because she's that old, right? She's in the very high, high-risk group. So I made the decision I can't work outside of the home. So I've been looking for writing jobs, jobs that would pay me to write stories. And I've focused on the travel industry since that's my passion. So what do you do? Go into a, onto the internet, uh, Google uh, whatever area of online work you are going to pursue, Find different companies that are, you know, in your field and then get the uh, contact information. So you can just put, you can say you contacted the business online, put their website, and then put the name of a contact there. You can find contacts in LinkedIn or on the actual website for the uh, company that you're, uh, you know, you're putting down as, as, as a, a business you've approached. Now, nobody's hiring now, right? No one's hiring because of COVID-19. So I don't really think they're, they're looking for you to land a job, but certification is part of the process. So get on that, 
uh, as soon as you can, and that seems to speed up the benefits. And I do believe most states are like that uh, when it comes to unemployment. You have to be actively looking for stuff. So once you're caught up, um, then uh, then you might see uh, benefits moving into your account. That's exactly what happened to me here in Cal- in California. Another question that's come up is, what if I have appealed? Okay, well it does it does say that um, if you appealed, uh, you're not supposed to apply for the PUA uh, benefits. However, my recommendation is is go ahead and apply. That's exactly what I did, and I still got my PUA benefits. What I did is I applied for the PUA benefits, and then I withdrew my appeal. So how do you withdraw your appeal? Well, if you did appeal, you got something in the mail uh, verifying that you did appeal, and there's a phone number on that on that letter. And all you need to do is call that number and say, I would like to withdraw my appeal. That's exactly what I did. And about three days later, I got a notification of withdrawal of of the appeal. So that way you're free and clear to get the benefits from from the PUA, which stands for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, and then then you can get your money. So even even though some quote unquote experts are saying you don't, you can't get the PUA benefits if you're in the system already. That's not the case. That's not been the case for me. That's all I can say, because I did apply for the PUA benefits while my case was in appeal, and then I can't. I withdrew from the appeal, and money has gone over four thousand dollars has gone into my unemployment benefits account, which I'll be able to access when I get my card, which might actually be today. Today being Monday, Monday the fourth. So fingers crossed. If I do get the card, um, then I'm going to go and have a margarita somewhere uh, tomorrow because it's Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. All right. So that's kind of the latest and the greatest um, on government uh, funding for the rideshare drivers. So on the one hand, things are seem to be moving, moving along. On the other hand, it's been three freaking months right? I haven't driven since February 3rd, February to March to April to May, three months. And, and, and what have I received so far? I received a $1,200 stimulus check. And then today I received $1,000 for the EIDL advance. And uh, I'll be sure and let you know when I actually get my debit card and I put the money into my bank account, exactly how much I put in. Uh, but still, it's been three months. It's been difficult. You know, it's just a, it's a long haul for rideshare drivers. There's no doubt about it. We uh, have definitely got kicked to the curb. Uh, We got kicked to the curb with the PPP program because it's been big businesses that have been getting all of that money. Um, And uh, and certainly with the unemployment, anyone who worked as an employee got paid months ago. And uh, we're still trying to... to, You're either in a state where you're having to wait or you're in a state that you've applied and you're waiting for the benefits or if you're in a state like Louisiana, you applied and you've already got started to get your benefits. So it's kind of a mixed bag. And fortunately, we are we are drivers, we are rideshare drivers, and we are strong, and uh, and we can take a little bit of a hit and keep on keep on keep on keeping on. Yes, absolutely. All right, all right. Let's wrap this thing up. Okay. Um, so that is a wrap. Fist bump to all you drivers out there. You all rock it out there every day. I thank you. I appreciate you uh, checking in. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. If you have a story you want to tell, uh, reach out to me at nomadj.com. Hit contact. There's a forum. Share a story with me that you want, and uh, we could do a little interview here. All right? That would be awesome. Nomadj.com. I'll see you on YouTube. I'll see you on the articles. And uh, this is Jay Crater, Nomad Jay, saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.